Hey everybody, it's Cheryl with Lead Off Leash Canine Training, and today I wanted to teach you about the recall or the command, come. First, there's a few things you should never do with your dog when you're teaching this command, or actually anytime with your dog. So, let's say you've come home and you've found a shoe chewed up, and you're just mad at your dog and you want to get him to you and show him the shoe and reprimand him for doing that. First off, you've lost your chance to do that. If you don't catch the dog in the act, then you, you've lost the moment, the teachable moment for your dog. So you can't be mad when you call your dog to you. Even if he did chew up the shoe, you have to be excited. Rover, come! Rover, come! Never, Rover, come! Because at some point, Rover's going to realize, oh, she's mad, I'm not going over there. So you always have to be excited. Rover, come! Rover, come! As excited as you can be. Second, let's say you're going to do something that might be unpleasant for your dog, like a bat. And I happen to give my dog a bath with the hose outside. I don't get to the hose and then call my dog to me. I go and get him. I just gently guide him over with a leash or just his collar, and then I give him a bath. Because I don't want him to associate me standing at the hose calling him as a negative thing. And eventually, he will figure that out, and sometimes he won't call, even if he has an awesome recall, which he does. So like I said, if there's something that might be a little bit unpleasant for them, I go and get my dog. That's just a little tidbit that I do. And then the third thing is, let's say it's early on and it's, he doesn't have recall at all or she doesn't have recall at all, and you're at a park and maybe you're not on leash, which around here there's a lot of off-leash activity with dogs. So I want to get my dog back to me, let's say, and he doesn't know recall very well, and I call him to me and he doesn't come, don't go running after your dog. Don't go running towards your dog. They're going to think it's a game, more likely than not. If anything, do something kind of different. Lay down on the grass, look straight up at the sky, and your dog will say, oh, what's she doing? And chances are they're going to come over out of curiosity and you can grab the collar then. So don't ever chase your dog when you're trying to get the dog to come to you. You're going to just make it a game for them. So let's get started. So the first thing I like to do when teaching recall, especially with a, a younger dog and a dog that doesn't have any recall um, to them, is to see if they know their name. Tayoga. Yes. So he looks at me. I know he knows his name. I treat him. If he didn't know his name for sure or I wasn't sure, I want him to look at me when I say his name. Tayoga. Yes. And create a little bit of eye contact. So that would be the first thing I would do. It also helps build a relationship with the animal. Tayoga. Yes. So when he looks in my eyes, I treat him. I mark it with the yes, and then I treat him. Tayoga. 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 Yes. So that's the first thing. Just doing a little bit of work like that, and you can use the breakfast for the dog to do that. That's just the very beginning. So once I'm certain my dog knows his name, I'll add the word come to the recall. So if you watch me in this next bit, I'll say his name, and as soon as he looks at me, I'll add the word come, and as soon as he's moving towards me, I will mark it with a yes, and then treat him when he gets to me and give him tons of praise. Remember, you always want to keep the recall fun and happy for him. Okay, let's go. Tayoga, come. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Tayoga, come. Yes. Good boy. Tayoga, come. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. And then I begin to move backwards to make the recall longer. Tayoga, come. Yes. Good boy. Again, always keeping it very exciting. Tayoga, come. Yes, yes. Good boy. Good boy. Remember, light and happy all the time. Tayoga, come. Yes, yes. So I call his name, and as soon as he looks at me, I have the word come. And then when he comes towards me, I would say yes, mark it with yes, and I'm going to work him. Tayoga, come. Yes.
be able to see my dog up there past that little generator shed. And I'm squatted down, but I'm going to stand up and then squat down again with my arms open and not say a word, and you'll see him come to me. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good 
Good boy. So I particularly like that bit of sign language for him because I don't want to have to yell all the time. Hey, Uncle Cun. Sometimes it's nice when I know he sees me. I just do that and he comes running to me. So the first part of the recall is just making sure your dog knows his name. And then once you're certain of that, you go inside where it's low distractions and you say the word come. As soon as he looks at you, you mark it with a yes and you open your arms and be excited and praise and give the dog a treat and praise when they get to you. Then you can move it outside for the third phase and put a long line on if you need it, depending on where you live or if you have a fenced yard or not. And with the long line, if you need to, you can give just a little bit of pressure to the dog. So you would, this is no pressure. If I just give it a little tiny bit of pressure, he'll move towards me. And then as soon as he moves towards me, I'm going to mark it with the yes. That's how the pressure thing works. This is no pressure. As soon as I add just a tiny bit of pressure, and I'll move him towards me. As soon as he's moving towards me, I'll release the pressure, and I'll just praise him. Come. Yes. Good boy. Let's try that one more time so you can see it. Sit. This will be good for him to walk by that ball. No pressure. I'm going to say the word come and just a tiny bit of pressure. And as soon as he starts moving, I'll mark it with a yes. And let the pressure up. Come. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So that's how the pressure works with the long line. And hopefully you're excited enough and joyful enough with him that you won't need to use much of this pressure. But you can just have the long line on for safety. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.